Hello everybody, this is Karen Houghton from Houghton Horns. Um, I'm sitting in the comfort of my living room during um, this COVID-19 quarantine and have a little extra time on my hands. So I thought I would make some helpful videos for um, band directors about questions that I get asked a lot as a private teacher. So the first one is, how do I help my horn players during marching season? So there are some different things that you can do. Um, first of all, let me say, I am an avid supporter of marching band. I'm kind of one of those horn teachers that's not snobby about it. Um, I enjoy seeing my kids perform. I enjoy going to contests. And actually as a horn teacher, I see a lot of improvement in my students during marching season. They have a bigger sound, they develop more self-confidence. Lots of good things happen. But the problem is going from the mellophone or marching horn to the French horn. So as a band director, you can do some things to help alleviate this problem of switching back and forth to the different instruments. So playing mellophone is totally different. It's a totally different beast. Different hand, different fingerings, a different lead pipe, different lead pipe angle, different mouthpiece. As a band director, here are things that you can do to really help your kids overcome the transition between those two instruments. Number one, provide a fingering chart for your kids, especially freshmen who always have that deer in the headlights look anyway coming into high school. Don't assume that they're going to just automatically pick up the fingering system because it is different. Find these online or if you have a question, you can always contact me at Houghton Horns and I can help you out with the fingerings. Number two is feature French horns in your marching show. I always think it's really cool when the mellophone players put down their, their instruments and pick up their French horn, and there's a French horn feature. That's a really cool way to, to have them playing their French horns during March and season as well. Now, uh, I have a confession. I was not the best marcher in school. In fact, I got the worst marcher of the year award in college, and uh, I have a plaque to prove it. So I feel kind of funny even giving any kind of advice on marching band, but I really do think it's a neat effect when you have your horn players play their French horns. Number three is flexibility really suffers a lot during marching season. So it's very important that you encourage your horn players to play a lot of F horn slurs on their French horn. The marching instruments, the partials are spread further apart. So when they go back to their French horn, they lose the ability to navigate through these close partials. So it's super important that they double up on their F horn lip slurs. And the last thing that I wanna say is try and have your students play their French horns daily in class. I know this is sometimes difficult during a busy marching season, but uh, maybe you can have them do a warm-up on their French horn before class or a warm-down even. You also have to make sure that they understand that lip time on their marching horn does not equal lip time on their French horn. It's a totally different instrument, so they need to be reminded to practice their French horn every day.